samples, envelopes, and filters. Come on. So here's a quick little hack on how to use your filter and your filter envelopes to kind of extract drum sounds out of a beat. So say I got like a sample that I like and I love the drums that's in the sample and I want, instead of using my own drums, I want those drums that's in the sample, but I can't seem to find like a, a good spot to catch the drums from because there's like, Wild music going on. So say we got our sample, right? Let's see. You like him. You like him. Right. So the first thing I'm I'm gonna wanna do, I'm gonna wanna edit down to the kick that I wanna use. So let me find a kick. I'm gonna take all that out. Make sure I'm um my normalizer is right. Boom. So I got the kick that I want to use. Now the first thing I'm gonna want to do is add my add my filter because obviously, you know, that's too much noise. So I'm going to put this in a program. I'm going to go to my filter and I'm going to use my low pass. You can lose, you can use low pass two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. I tend to go with six. That kind of gives me the best results. Now I'm going to bring my cutoff down. to right there. Now, what's going to make this kick stand out is the filter envelope. So once I bring up the filter envelope to open it back up, now I'm going to use the actual envelope itself to shape the filter. And it's a process. You got to you got to kind of, you know, Mess with the, the amount, the decay, the cutoff. Bang. And that's how you snatch drums out of a sample using the filter envelope.